Hello and welcome to Go On Shaw TV. My name is Leanne Evans and today we are at the Medicine Hat Stampede Office and I am going to become a princess. Yep, a princess. That's something that I have been dreaming of since I was a little girl. We're going to be talking to the Stampede Royalty all about the Princess for a Day contest and we're going to be learning all about what it is like to be royalty here in Medicine Hat. We have that and lots more coming up on Go. Some of the achievements we've had this year are uh, we've alleviated 342 tons of waste from the landfill. We've moved in in southern Alberta over 20 families. Well, welcome back to Go On Shaw TV. I am joined with the Stampede Royalty. Allie is the queen and Michaela is the princess and have been since July. Now, tell me what it's like to be a queen. It's the best. It really is. It's uh, very glamorous and we get to go around to lots of different community events. We get to participate in everything that's going on in town, really. Uh, we've been to the Canalta Center for the opening there. We've done a lot of stuff with the United Way and all of the Stampede events, events of course, too. So it keeps us really busy, but it's a lot of fun. All right. Uh, has it always been a dream to be a princess? Absolutely. I grew up going to rodeos, so seeing the rodeo queens and princesses, they were huge role models for me. So now that I'm living out that dream, it's absolutely amazing. Uh, now, is this something that you always looked up to as well when you were a kid? Yep, definitely, yeah. It's hard to ignore a rodeo queen or a rodeo princess. They're very, very poised individuals. They do a really good job of representing the associations that they are ambassadors for, and they're just, they're pretty. Little girls love to look at pretty girls, so it was definitely something that I kind of set my eye on when I was younger, and as I've grown up and realized everything that goes into it, it's become even more of a passion of mine because I've realized all the skills that I've gained from participating in all this stuff. Now what do you have to do to become a queen and a princess? So for here in Medicine Hat, we have a week-long competition in which we go around town to our sponsors and doing events. And we also have the big competitions within that week where we are judged on our public speaking skills, our horsemanship skills, and our overall personality and our fashion show. So it's a a packed week. It is so fun. It's so busy and it gives us a real taste of what it really is to be a queen and a princess. How did you feel when it was it came down to it and you found out you were the princess? I oh I, it's really hard to describe that feeling. Um, it was absolutely amazing to achieve a goal that I had been working so hard for. Um, I'd been in 4-H for nine years and so the public speaking skills, the horsemanship skills all transferred over to that and to see all that hard work just come together in that one perfect moment, it's, it's amazing. So it's not just uh, you're busy for the stampede season, like you said, it's all year round. That's right. Uh, lots of people think that because we're the stampede royalty, when stampede is over, then we kind of go into hibernation for the winter, but that is not the case. Uh, we are very involved with the community. We are also ambassadors for the city. So like I mentioned earlier, we do lots of community events. We go to the schools in town and even some of the smaller schools outside of Medicine Hat. And we just try and be really involved in the community. So even when the rodeos slow down for the winter, they definitely find ways to keep us busy. Royalty is busy. <laughs> All right, so in July, it's going to be the end of your time for royalty. Yeah. Uh, how can people get involved? Uh, well, if you're a girl between the ages of 18 and 24, then you're eligible to run to be the 2016 Medicine Hat Exhibition and Stampede Queen or Princess. And you can go online to the Medicine Hat website, Medicine Hat Stampede website, sorry, which is mhstampede.com. And there'll be some information there on how you can get involved. There's a whole information package that our Queen Committee has put together that outlines what goes into the competition and what kind of things you need to be prepared to do. So that's how a person would go about getting involved. And we look forward to all the entries we're going to receive for contestants this year. All right. Well, thank you so much, girls. But before that, in April, there is a chance to become a princess for a day. So I'm going to keep these girls around to find out more about that. We also have lots more coming up on Go. So stay tuned right here on Shaw TV. Well, welcome back to Go on Shaw TV, and we are in a limousine. This is all part of a Princess for a Day competition here at Medicine Hat Stampede. I am with Michaela and Allie. Allie is the queen, and uh, Michaela is the princess. Now tell me about what Princess for a Day is. 
Well, Princess for a Day is a program that the Medicine Hat Exhibition and Stampede Queen Committee started in 2010, and it's a really, really exciting contest for girls ages 8 to 12 because they actually get to participate in our lives for a day. They get to virtually uh, experience what it's like to be rodeo royalty. And it's a really, really cool, cool competition because they get to enter and if they're drawn, then they get to hang out with us for a day and do all of the fun things that are involved with being a rodeo queen or rodeo princess. So, for example, riding around in a limousine. <laughs> they also get an awesome prize package. So, a uh, crown, because every rodeo queen or princess needs a crown, and a sash, and actually a, a lot of really great things that are provided by community sponsors. All right, so go through the day's events then. So we're gonna go get our hair and makeup done with our great community sponsors that Ali mentioned. We get to ride around in a limo. And on the night of the 9th, the family gets to come to the rodeo with us and we will take the girls, we'll get autographs done so they get to live our lives at a rodeo, signing autographs, talking to people, enjoying the events. It's gonna be a lot of fun. All right, so this is for girls aged eight to 11? Eight to 12. Eight, yep. to, eight to 12. Mm. Not for the boys? <laughs> Not for the boys, unfortunately. Um, we have a lot of rodeo kings in the rodeo arena, so we like to give the girls an opportunity to experience the rodeo royalty. So why do you think this is such a fun contest for the girls in our community? Well, for me personally, I have always looked up to rodeo queens and princesses, and I know a lot of girls do. So now it's their chance to kind of get a taste of what we do, and you know, maybe they'll want to do it when they're older. What is your favorite part of this whole contest? For me, I think I just really enjoy the chance that we get to see the girls have so much fun because for us, it's still fun being a rodeo queen or a rodeo princess, but we've been doing this for a few months now and I guess maybe the, uh, the excitement uh, has worn off a little bit. Is that, no, yeah, I don't know. Um, not to say it's not exciting anymore, but when it's fresh for a girl who's young and she's maybe uh, looking up to us and hoping to be a, a rodeo queen or rodeo princess someday, it's just, it's really, really exciting and it's fun for us to get to see that from fresh eyes again. Hey, you get to get picked up in a limo, you get your hair done. What girl doesn't love getting that done, right? Absolutely, it's gonna be a fantastic day and oh, it's gonna be so fun. We're really looking forward to it. Okay, how can people find out more information and how can they register? So you can go on the Medicine Hat Stampede website, you can register there. You can also go to our Stampede office or Lamley's and there's uh, little ballots there in a box. You just need a parent's signature for your daughter to enter and it's gonna be so much fun. <laughs> and when does this all have to be done by? The deadline is April 1st, and like Michaela said, the Princess for a Day happens on the 9th of April, which is the Saturday of our spring indoor rodeo, the Bronx and Honky Tonks, which is from April 8th to 10th. So get those entries in by April 1st, and that's when we'll be making the draw. All right, well, thank you girls for inviting me out to have a little taste of what a princess for a day is like, and I get to ride in this nice limo with you girls. So again, April 1st is when the deadline is for princess for a day. Thanks for watching. We have lots more coming up on Go. All right, well, that is just a taste of what a princess for a day is all about. All the entries are due on April 1st, and they can be found on mhstampede.com. Thank you so much for watching. If you want more information on anything that we have been covering, we are on Shaw TV Medicine Hat, also on Twitter at Shaw TV The Hat. There, there is one more thing that a princess need, and that is a tiara. Thank you. I like this gig. I think I can do it. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time right here on Shaw TV. Okay, well that wasn't a graceful one. Let's try that again. <laughs> for, oh, I screwed that up. My name's Leanne Evans and coming up, I am going...